It's just beginning, but I know what's coming. My daughter has started a mental list of all the ways things will be different when she's in charge. <laughs> She'll never floss her teeth with a dry cleaning ticket, or wear a bandana to back to school night, or strain canned lima beans in warm water and call it a snack. <laughs> She'll never shoo her children off to school, pocket stuff with cough drops when they say they feel sick. She'll set them up in front of the TV with a space heater and a gallon of ice cream and a bowl of lollipops for later. She'll let her kids have a Boston Terrier, a guinea pig, a hermit crab. She will not take a picture of her husband's boxers six inches shy of the laundry basket and post it on her blog. <laughs> He's the most put out husband in California. Her eyes will not be crinkled and creased. She'll let her hair go gray. Her boobs will not be so long. <laughs> She'll live her life as her mother's model opposite, just as I had planned. I said, I will never wear coral lipstick in winter, or nylon sweatsuits, or easy spirit espadrilles. I will not pull up to strangers in the grocery store parking lot and ask them what gas mileage they get because I'm thinking about trading in my Oldsmobile wagon. Oh, but I see that's a Japanese car and we only buy American, so. I will not lick my hand and swipe it across my daughter's newly cut bangs, sighing with regret. I will not take my children to undercapitalized amusement parks and call it spring vacation. <laughs> I will not ask my children's friends if they want to stick their hands in my paraffin wax bath. Do you even know what that is? She does it, still. I will see that it does matter. People are looking. This will not be forgotten a day from now. I will remember that I wrote all the dirty words in my journal, including douche and hemorrhoid. <laughs> that I took my mother's mascara and small bills and cigarettes, that once at a high school party I threw up in the powder room, rinsed my mouth out and lined right back up at the keg. <laughs> I will remember, and these memories will soften me, or will they? Here I am, in my mother's shoes, though not her jeans, trimming my girl's hair while they sleep, berating them for telling the very same lies I told horrifying them by chatting with the bus driver or singing while driving carpool. And I ask you, are my dance go clogs so much better than espadrilles? <laughs> I did not become a cool, interesting woman who has children. I became a mother who is barring the door against adolescence, which is coming to take my kids away to Teen Island, where they'll put on war paint and teach each other guerrilla tactics. <laughs> They'll come home occasionally to patronize me in that particular way only a child can a parent, forgetting everything tender and lovely that has passed between us, every bath and birthday party and board book, every victory over diaper rash or the common cold or fifths disease. All the moments I know by heart will be lost to them. I'll write them a letter, necessarily incomplete, to tell them what it is to be their mother. I will write it for all of us who accept but deplore that your life as our child will not stop passing. It will take 13,000 words to explain why, when it comes right down to it, you have our heart in your hands and our every night's sleep depends on your happiness and how, when we fail you, we wonder what if I am exactly the wrong person to be raising this child. But if we can only hang around long enough to see you with your own children, there's rest to be found. <laughs> because then you will finally see what parenthood is. Heinous. <laughs> Mundane. Divine. And finally, you will know how much you have been loved. Thank you so much.